You know what, Chris? I can't hear you. I don't think anyone can hear you. You know what, Chris? I can't hear you. Nope. I mean, it is nice to see your face. <laughs> So Chris is just getting set up here, um, having some audio difficulty. Well, we'll get it figured out here in a bit. You know, you can just use your um, your other headset, maybe plug it into the computer. So we'll be on here shortly. We're going to be talking about um, renovation loans as well as fixing up your property and what to do, what not to do. Uh, but it should be a good show today. Fortunately not, Chris. So stay tuned, stay on for a couple minutes and uh, we'll have a uh, It'll be Chris and I talking about different things you can do to your home, um, where to spend money, where not to spend money, and uh, where to get the money to help fix up your home. So, cool. Okay. So we're just waiting for Chris to get on board here. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me now? Hey, Chris, I can hear you. You can hear me? OK. Yeah. Glad you're on board. Uh, sorry about that, guys. It's always something technical. We'll get it. We'll get it straight one of these days when we just start and have sound. <laughs> OK. Can you see me and hear me? Yep. All right. Perfect. All right, guys, um, <clears throat> thanks for joining us today. We are actually going to be uh, talking about construction loans, um, also a little bit about um, what you might want to do to your home to get the most bang for the buck, best ROI, uh, return on your investment. And um, if it works out okay, we might actually have uh, one of our inspectors join us today, but we'll see how that goes. You know, technology, you know, we'll see, see if he can join us. Um, make sure that you follow us here and subscribe on our YouTube page and um, we'll put all the links down here below in just a second um, and uh, make sure you ask any questions that you have during the broadcast so we can uh, you know answer any questions you might have but be sure to like us and uh, follow us here and um, on our uh, business page and uh, also Evan has a page you might want to follow too Evan what's uh, what's that Evan Einhorn, Modern Home Lending, and we can post that after too. So. Real quick, guys, I'm going to post this up here right now, but we're um, we're actually going to be uh, doing a giveaway. Evan, you want to tell them a little bit about the giveaway since you yeah. uh, put that all up for us? Yeah, of course. Hey, Rachel. Um, but for the giveaway, you know, we are giving away a Amazon Echo, um, which is basically Amazon Alexa. So. If you want to make your home a little smarter, you should definitely register. Chris is going to be posting all the details. It's going to run for a week. Um, you can enter daily, and then you can also win other entries uh, by liking the page, you know, uh, following the McCullough Group YouTube page, Twitter, sharing it, etc. So we're super excited because Chris and I are going to be doing this quarterly. Um, you know, just a nice little giveaway, and we're starting off by Amazon Alexa's, which. I don't have one. Uh, I should probably buy one just to make my house smarter, but I think it'd be cool if I had a couple around the house. Awesome. All right. Um, so let's start off with talking about um, the uh, construction loans, Evan. Um, and I had a few questions here for you. I wanted to start off with asking, um, and that is, what is a construction loan? Is it if I 
own a home already or if I need to buy a home or what is what is all that about? Right. So I'll go over, you know, well, I'll talk about renovation loans today. Const there are construction loans. So let's say you buy some land and you want to build on that land. There, there are some loans for that. Um, typically, I don't recommend that unless, you know, you have really good deals with contractors, et cetera. Um, but we can talk about some re renovation loans, you know, which I think are way more fun. So that's either if you're buying a new home. So let's say you're, you're moving into a home, but it needs some work. Um, it's a really hot market right now. So if you can't find that perfect home, you might want to actually, you know, buy a home and then use some money from, you know, getting a little extra mortgage to fix it up. Or if you want to stay in your current home and fix that up, but you don't have the money to do so, you can get a renovation loan as well. So lots of options. Okay. And um, what do I what do I need to qualify for that? Is it is it like a regular loan or is it just you know something a little extra I have to do there? Yeah, I mean it's the same as far as qualification goes. Um, it's all the same stuff. So you know down payment is actually very similar. So you can get away with three and a half percent down payment you know, on a renovation loan, or if you already own the home and have your equity, then you don't need to bring any money to the table. Um, and then you need the same income and same credit. So there's some that go to low 600s as far as credit score goes, and then income's the same, you know, compared to regular loans. So yeah, I, I think a lot of people think it's a lot tougher than it is. So F FHA conventional? Um, FHA or conventional or VA. Or VA, okay. No. So yeah, same so. So the VA, the VA is a little different, so mostly FHA conventional, but FHA conventional, they have pretty widespread, um, you know, renovation loans that are available if you're looking to buy a home or if you're looking to stay in your current home and fix it up. Okay. So the overall idea is I can I can fix up a home I might be moving into uh, with part of the, the loan money or maybe even pull money, uh, in some cases, with certain loans out of my home to do yeah. some renovations. Right. And I know... You know, that's where you and I come in, and I think we've we've helped a lot of clients kind of figure out, hey, is it is it worth it to stay, maybe pull some money out, um, or is it worth it just to pick up and move because it's going to, you know, cost too much money to renovate their current house, so. Right. Um, and what, because I know it's a little bit more of an involved process uh, once you get into it, so what, what, what's the, the process or added things that a home buyer should know up front or maybe additional, um, you know, uh, people that they need to work with uh, as opposed to a traditional purchase? Yeah, so, um, you know, typical purchases we close, you know, we can close in 30 days or less. For this, I recommend at least 45 days, you know, for the close of escrow um, because there are a few steps because you are going to have to, on top of getting your regular home inspections, you're going to be having to get your general contractor, you know, who's going to be working on the home to get you a plan of everything that they're going to do, as well as the cost involved too. Um, and the appraiser also needs to take that into consideration. So you only need to have, you know, a few percent equity after the deal is done. So okay. that basically means your home doesn't need to be worth a ton right now. If if your home's worth 200 and you owe 190, you can still pull out cash. We just have to document what, you know, what renovations you're going to be doing to increase the value. So, okay. Yeah. And is that basically how they look at it? Like, I guess um, um, the next question would be what, what construction items or updates, you know, et cetera, are, are allowed per the loan regulations. Yeah. So if you keep it under 35,000, if you keep it cosmetic only, it's a way more simpler process. It's very similar to your regular loan. If you get into structural um, issues, then then it becomes a lot more of a longer process. That's where I'm asking for at least 60 days. And um, you know that's where it's gonna probably take a lot longer to do the construction and renovation anyways. But most of the, I mean, most of the time, Chris, aren't, are you just seeing you know, people wanting nice cabinets, countertops, flooring, paint, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, some of the some of the things that would bring value, obviously, is the cosmetic stuff. Um, you know, like exterior paint um, and interior paint. Obviously, is going to bring a lot of curb appeal and value to the inside. Um, kitchens, bathrooms, um, those are always uh, a winner. Um, and um, 
are, are those type of things, uh, they're all allowed? Uh, yeah, they're all allowed. And that's that's pretty easy. Even again, structural things. So if you wanted to, let's say, have an addition to the home, that's allowed too. But you know, there are a few more hoops to jump through. Um, but you know, I'm happy to help you with that. So if you really want to ma make it happen, we'll make it happen. Um, we just have to make sure it makes sense as far as value goes. So and the appraiser, the appraiser is going to look at that. Like, is this adding value to the home? Right. Because because the lender is paying for well, giving right. you the money. Up this yeah right yeah financing because we're financing the new projects that would be a good right. way to put it. <laughs> yeah. i wish i could get i wish i could give everyone money to uh you uh -huh. know fix up their homes but unfortunately we don't know that much <laughs> for, uh, just a you know niche market there you know for you to really set yourself apart but right right <laughs> well you, you do have no lender fees so that's close yeah 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 <laughs> um so yeah so, in case you haven't heard before evan He's our preferred lender, and he he owns his own brokerage, Modern Home Lending, and you know he doesn't charge any lender fees, which is part of the reason why he wanted to open up his own brokerage and make sure that he he would be able to put you into the best loan possible or whatever he's trying to do. Yeah, so we don't charge any junk processing underwriting fees like a lot of lenders do. Um, you know, and always willing to look at the different situations. For everyone so like the renovation loan i can help you compare a renovation loan versus you know just staying where selling your current house and buying the home that has everything that you want but yeah going back to what you said chris um all that stuff all that cosmetic stuff is super easy um you know to add into a renovation loan so cool and um i just wanted to read a few of these off because uh, these are these are like the top five things you want to do um, as far as you know, bringing more value to your home right. according to house logic, one is a roof. Okay, um, one is a roof. So the return on an investment uh, for seventy five hundred dollar, they're 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 looking at a seventy five hundred dollar. Obviously, these numbers can vary, but that must be their average. <clears throat> um, the return on on a roof was one hundred and nine percent at seventy five hundred dollars at eighty one fifty. So, you know, kind of one of those no brainers, right? And then the other one they looked at was hardwood floors. Um, which, you know, the cost of refinishing was 2,500, 100% return on, on hardwood floors. Um, so were you gonna say something, Evan? Or, or no, I mean, that totally makes sense. I mean, I would even argue sometimes when you have some pretty old, you know, when you do, I think, in my opinion, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, sometimes when people half update a house, you don't get your bang for your buck. But you know, if you do the hardwood floors, the nice countertops, the nice cabinets, and updated paint, those you know, those four things, you'll get a large return on investment. So I even would say that hardwood floor could be on the low side, especially if you have some older carpet. I know, I mean, a lot of buyers like the hardwood floors nowadays, right? You say? Yeah, yes, yeah, and and now you have really high quality, even manufactured wood. So, you know, uh, that 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 adds really good value too. Um, new garage door, hmm. so kind of uh, along the idea of uh, you know getting the curb appeal uh, going. The the garage door uh, cost of twenty three hundred for a two door. Uh, they're looking at an eighty seven percent return at two thousand dollars. So, not bad. Um, better insulation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, out here, uh, one of the things that we see a lot in inspections is the insulation's gone because of the heat. Uh, a lot of it gets uh, worn away in, in our inspections. That, you know, we always told there's this much left, or there's you know this much left. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's a huge one. That's a huge yeah. one in Arizona. Hey, Rachel. Wow. Thanks for joining us. If you guys have any questions? Please, um, you know, jump in there. Um, the uh, insulation cost twenty one hundred dollars. They're looking at a return of seventy six percent on that. And this is this is value, Chris, right? So yeah. they're, they're talking about value if you went to resell the home. Right. Insulation insulation's one that like not only do you get the value, but you get the energy efficiency too. So exactly. that's right. a huge so. big savings there, right? Yeah, especially this time of year for us. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, on the paint, on the paint, you know, 
you, you could be looking at about a 75% return there at, at least. So uh, big time. By the way, I just had mine quoted uh, for uh, about a, less than a buck a square foot. If anybody's interested, let me know. You can message me. It's got a really good guy. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, anything else on the construction loans that we could uh, mention here that people might want to know about or renovations in general as far as you're concerned on the lenders? No. I mean, um, you know, obviously if anyone has any situations, they can, you know, reach out to me. Um, you know, my number is 602-456-2273. And I know you'll put that in there at the end, but I think the biggest thing is people, people think you need more equity than you do. So, you know, someone just bought, you know, even if you just bought a home a year ago and, you know, maybe you want to renovate it because you realize, Hey, this is the perfect lower floor plan or layout or whatnot. I just wish I had newer flooring and a newer kitchen. Um, even if you only put a small down payment back then, you know, you can, you can definitely take out my, I mean, I can't say definitely, but if the, if the renovations make sense, which hopefully the things you're doing do make sense and add value, then you don't need that much equity. You know, you only need about three and a half percent equity. So $200,000 home, you can owe, 190, 192, 193,000 and still be able to refinance and get some money out. What would be some of the things people could do then to really prepare ahead of time for this type of loans so that they don't get caught in the middle of this little bit longer process, a little bit more involved, maybe a little bit of extra cash up front because of the extra people involved? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is if you're buying, I mean, it's, it's all about the people you work with. If you ask me so if you're buying a house you need a good realtor like you a good lender like me and then you also need a really good home inspector and a good general contractor the general contractor is a big one because they're the ones that's gonna be working on it and as a lender unfortunately we'll be asking them for paperwork um, you know we need references for them so it is a, it is a little more work for them too but you know, you do need to get a general contractor that is approved to do the job. So having a good general contractor is huge. And I know anyone listening, you can reach out to Chris or I, and you know, we can help refer you out to you know someone that meets your specific needs. Yeah, when you say approved, that they need a certain certification then uh, with the current regulations. Or? Yeah. So they actually do need to be a general contractor. So unfortunately, on these, you can't use your buddy that's a paint. You know that you know, is a handyman on the side and wants, needs some side work, it actually does need to be a licensed general contractor that, the, that can be paid directly from the escrow. Um, so that's a big thing. Although the other thing too is, you know, if you do have a lot of equity in your house, you can, you can pull out almost all your equity. You do need to leave at least 5% in there and you don't even need to bug, you know, deal with the renovation. So if you do have a, fr a friend that's maybe not licensed and, you want ten or fifteen thousand out to, you know, redo some of your kitchen. That is a possibility. So I can kind of help you, you know, compare those options of do we even need a renovation loan or can we just pull cash out with a regular loan? Right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Awesome. So um, as far as uh, the inspector, the inspector hasn't joined us yet, but <clears throat> I would say you know, we have a couple of really good inspectors that we're always going to recommend out there, give you some choices. But, um, you know, they're doing a, doing a fantastic job to get you through the process like this. Definitely have some other tradesmen that we can refer out to you um, as we go along through this process to get you started. What I would always recommend to every home buyer is, you know, talk with us first. Um, we want to find out from Evan where you are. Um, so, like, you know, so Evan, it would be basically on a loan like this if they – Qualify for say three hundred thousand, and they're looking at a house that's two twenty five. That gives them that set about seventy five grand that they can work with on the oh yeah dates or whatever that need, that they want to have done there. Exactly, because basically, let's say the let's say the value after everything's done is three hundred thousand, then you'll need three and a half or five percent down based on that. So, um, I mean, that is a really good idea because you and I know it's a super hot market right now it is really hard to find the perfect home. You know, that's, you know, that's still on the market. So 
if, if you know, we can definitely get creative and maybe find that home that has been on the market a month or two is cheaper, needs a lot of work that people aren't willing to do. Well, hey, we can help you finance it. And really, if you have it financed with us, you find a good home through Chris and get set up with a good general contractor, it doesn't have to be that hard. And hey, you might find the home of your dreams that's not on the market right now, or it might be more expensive. So, right. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, you know, we're always going to recommend we do a buyer consultation with you uh, to get you through the process uh, much easier. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of it for you. There's a lot of things that uh, are changing all the time. A lot of things people don't know uh, before they get started. So we'd like to do that up front. And in order to have a really productive meeting for that, it's great if you could talk to Evan first mm -hmm. and sooner rather than later so that we can figure all the numbers out and there's no question marks or us wondering how we should negotiate the best deal for you. So uh, Evan, again, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, you can reach me at 602-456-2273. Again, 602-456-2273. Or you can go to modernhomelending.com. Um, you can find information about me and my company or start the online application. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty open book. If, if, if anyone ever wants to run scenarios and say, hey, I am thinking about, you know, we don't like where we're at right now. You know, we, we want something nicer now. You know, I'm always happy to run the, hey, should we, you know, rent out our current house and buy our new house or should we sell and buy or should we just fix up our current place? So, you know, all those, you know, all those scenarios, I know it might, you know, it might be a lot to think of, but once you talk to me, I'll lay it out nice in an email for you and then we can meet in person and, you know, discuss your options. So. Great. And for us, you know, um, again, once we have those numbers from Evan, it makes it so much easier to get you through everything. So, uh, guys, you can reach us at 480-788-8569. Uh, That's our team line. And you can check us out at mincolagroup.com or uh, mincolahomes.com. And be sure to enter the uh, the uh, uh, free enter to win those uh, two free uh, Echo Dots. So, Evan, do you have anything else? No, no. I'm excited about that giveaway. And um, I think you'll start seeing these renovation loans become a lot more popular nowadays. So. Yeah, and guys, um, when you sign up for that, uh, those free Echo Dots, um, you'll see that the more you share those, the more entries you get to win those. So uh, we'll be, uh, the dates and everything are all in there once you uh, log in, but we're going to be uh, doing that uh, every, every quarter. We're going to be doing a, a big gift like that. So um, let us know if you have any questions on anything. All right. Cool. Thanks, you guys. Next Wednesday, same time. See ya. Thanks.